Today, I review the liquid level sensor. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Derek with Reef Automation, and today I get to review the Neptune Systems Liquid Level Sensor. So I just got my hands on one of these. This is the four inch model. As you can see, they come in four different sizes. They come in the four inch model, the 15 inch model, the 23 inch model, and the 35 inch model. Now, like with all my videos, this one was purchased by myself. I don't get handed any of these products before I review them. I purchase every product that I have. And when I first got it, I wanted to kind of take a look at it and see kind of what the quality is of the product. First looking at it, I can tell you that it seems to be built pretty strong. It's made of a strong acrylic. And if you look at it, you can see that it has on it the uh, zero, one, two, three, four inch. And that's how it registers the liquid in whatever your uh, vessel is. It's going to measure it by inches. So you can see that it has inches and centimeters on either side. It also has a max depth, as you can see. Each indication of the inches is what's indicated within the fusion, which I'll show you here at the end of the video. So from the looks of it, when you look inside it, it looks like it's just a flimsy piece of paper in here that measures the liquid. I believe that's how this works. And my concern is that there's no, no cover or no film or nothing here in which to protect the piece of paper that's inside here from getting any type of debris or, for instance, if you were to put this in a refugium, it's possible that something can probably get into it. So as you can see, it's a pretty good piece of equipment. I, I think I'm gonna really like using these products. Uh, they come in so many different sizes. You can put them in a multiple uh, different vessels. Like I said, you can put them in, you know, an RO bin. You can put them in an alkalinity container to know what your alkalinity is. I haven't really found a lot of uses for this yet. Uh, I think what I'm going to do with it is put it in my filter roller so that I know when my filter roller is rising. One thing I can say is it only comes with this clip right here. Uh, it doesn't have a magnet with it, which I believe Neptune said they're going to make one and it's going to be available. But right now you only can clip it onto something, otherwise it just kind of hangs there. Uh, having a magnet will probably make it a little easier for most vessels so you can pinpoint exactly where you want to put it in. So. I'm gonna show you now in Fusion how this is programmed. It's pretty simple, so let's get started. So we're gonna learn how to program the level sensor in Fusion. It's quite simple. Uh, like most sensors with Neptune, it's pretty simple to set these up. The only difference between this one is uh, you're gonna to need to calibrate it. So to calibrate it, you have to make sure very important that your software is up to date, that your FMM modules are up to date, that your main software is up to date. So for instance, if I go over in here and I go to modules, you can see that I have some FMMs that I need to update, and you will see that by the arrow on the right-hand side here. Now, I've already updated the module that we're gonna be working on, so when you click on it here in the upper right-hand corner, to calibrate it, you're gonna hit automatic calibration. I find automatic calibration works a lot easier for most people, and this is where you're going to put how basically how big your reservoir is. So if you have a large reservoir, you're going to put a number that's high uh, up near the top. And if you have a smaller reservoir, you're going to put the high a little bit lower. Uh, no matter which one you're doing, I recommend putting it about an inch or two above. As you can see in the diagram here, it's roughly, what, two inches above the water and uh, roughly two inches at the top. So for this, we're just gonna make it one and three for the four inch to make it easier. So I'm gonna hit next. And now it's gonna say, place the LLS in a water depth of one inch. So now we need to go and calibrate it by putting it in one inches of water. So once you've placed it in one inch water, you're gonna hit the calibrate button. And now it's going to basically read that sensor and make sure that the that it senses one inch of water. This could take a little while. So we'll wait for it. 
Okay, so once it's done, it's gonna give you the next and we're gonna hit next. Now it's gonna ask you to put it in two inches of water. Okay, so once you've put it in two inches of water, you're gonna hit next, just like you did with one inch. It's gonna do its little thing here, where it's gonna check for the acceptable range. All right, so that's all set. We're gonna hit next. And now it's gonna ask you to put it in a depth of three inches. So we will repeat that for three inches. Okay, so once you're done calibrating on three inch, you're gonna be brought back to this menu. And we're gonna go back and you can see that it produces a three inch level. Now it goes in inches. There's no way to make it go in milliliters, which I wish they could change that. But unfortunately for now, it's going to just be inches. So this basically tells you 3.1 inches is what the level of the water is. And it's very accurate. I've tried messing with it a little bit. And then of course you can program different things. So you can program if your level is higher than three inches, do something. If it's lower than three inches, do something. If you want to know how to do that in detail, take a look at some of my Neptune videos on how to program, you know, emails, alarms, and so forth. But that's essentially how you get the level sensor set up, and that is what it looks like. So I found the calibration process to take a little bit longer than most calibration processes, a little bit tedious. I had to keep dumping out water to get it exactly at those uh, depths. But it probably took me maybe 10 to 15 minutes to calibrate uh, one of the sensors. So just be aware that you're going to need time to calibrate it, and it can take a little bit of time. I had a couple errors the first time I did it, and I finally got it to work. Uh, so just be aware it could take some time. Okay, so as you can see, you could do a lot of different things with the liquid level sensor to kind of give you an idea of where things are in the tank. Like I said, I think it's a great piece of equipment. Uh, I'm going to use it for a multitude of things. Like I said, just some small little issues, like I said, with the hole being here. Um, the fact that there's no magnetic mount at the time of this video. Like I said, that's something they're going to probably develop here very soon. Um, this also, by the way, hooks up into your FMM or into the new Apex, uh, just as an additional sensor. It's got a roughly long cord. I would say this is easily 15 feet, so it can be... Um, moved pretty far from your FMM. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.